Hey guys, in today's video, I will show you how you can create another free landing page that you can use for your product or services using system.io. So with that being said, let's jump right into the video. Alright guys, this is the one I just built, you know, from scratch, just for me, you know, to show you that it's possible for you to use system.io to uh, create your free landing page, alright? So I'm gonna, you know, show you how to build one for free. Now, let's get started. So all you need to do is to click on the first link on this video description to get started. Once you click on that link, you will be on this page. So when you are here, just click get started and then enter your email address to create your free account. And once you've done that, you will have a dashboard that looks like mine. And once you are here, you wanna click on the main tab here and then wanna click on the funnels. And right here on the phone, you wanna start creating your own phone. All right, so um, I'm gonna just click here to create another page. And then this page, I'm gonna call a landing page too. So you wanna name your page something meaningful, something you can remember. All right, so I'm gonna call in this one landing page too. And on the type here, you can select something like um, sales page because we are building landing page. All right. So now you want to click here to save and right here you can choose any template that you want to use to build your landing page. All right. So I can choose any of these templates right here. For example, I'm going to just pick up this one and then, and then once you select the template, you want to go here to publish. If you want to leave it that way, you want to view, you want to go here to, you know, edit the template we have done full um, tutorial uh, on this channel showing you how to use system.io to build your free funnel um, so i'm gonna leave a link of that tutorial in this video description so i'm gonna click here to edit the page i'm gonna delete every element on this page i'm gonna delete all this content and then do one from scratch so you can see how it's done all right so i'm gonna delete everything now I need to go and start dropping the element that I want to use. So the first element to see here is test element. So I'm going to go here and then click on the element test. So I'm going to click on it and here is the test. So I can simply go here and then copy my test and then come here and then paste my test. And I can now go on this one, highlight it, can change the color to red. And the second thing we want to do here is to add our video, all right? And to do that, simply click, scroll down a little bit and you see a video element, so click on it. So here is my video. So I can now click on the video to upload the video that I want. So you can copy your video that you want and then upload it right there. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go on the copy another video to show you how you can do that as well so i'm gonna copy this video and uh, i'm gonna go here and uh, click on that video and uh, here replace this one and paste my video right here the next thing i want to do now is to add a button okay to add a button simply come here so I come here and then look on look for button element so i'm gonna click on the button element here's my button so you can click on that button to you know to change the color of the button change the test so let's say uh, click here i want to change it here to get started so i'm gonna put something like get started now and the sub test here you can scroll down a little bit here is your sub test you can put start now so you can basically put anything you want to put so you can use all this um, you can change the font from here you know if you want to change the font and you can use all this uh a button style um, element right here you know to change the buttons all right you know so you can play around here to see what you want you can use the adjustment here to you know to place the button either left you know center and the right as well if you want to do that and if you want to put the want to put a link or call to action on this button you can click on the button 
and then you want to go here you can you know if you want body to send the form we have covered all this in on the other tutorial that i told you about that i'm gonna leave a link on the video description all right so what i'm gonna do i want you to open to another you know another url another link so i'm gonna click on open to another url and then i'm gonna now you know paste the link that i want you to go when people click on this you know button they're gonna be redirected to this url and then once you have done you can change the button color let's for example i want to change this blue to something like green you can manually enter your, you know color your color code right here or you can basically pick a color from here so i'm gonna pick uh, something like green like this one all right so the next thing we want to do here is to add divider element right here and to do that just simply scroll down on the bottom of this element you can see horizontal line just click on it and here it is you can as well click on it if you want to change anything if you want to make adjustment or if you want to change the colors as well you can do that right here as well and the next thing we want to do here is to add this uh, test and the image this test and the image and to do that you want to um to do that all you need to do is to go and look for the columns okay so i'm gonna use these columns for that image on the left and the test on the right okay so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna click on this column and it's gonna look like this so what i'm gonna do now is to go and uh, click on the image um element right here so i'm gonna click on it and here you can upload image from your computer if you got image but if you already got image uploaded on system.io you can basically select it from here so i got one uploaded so i'm gonna click on this one and i'm gonna click here to insert the image when you insert the image you wanna just drag it into the column that you want it to be so this one i'm gonna put test i need test to be on that one so i'm gonna drag it into the column as well and I can simply go and copy my test and I'm gonna come and uh, paste it right here. So right here, I wanna add another divider element and to do that, you can simply go here and duplicate the previous one that we, we added right here. I click here to duplicate this one and you can simply now drag it and drop it anywhere that you want. So the next thing I wanna do here is to add this another column as well with test and the image so and to do that all i need to do is to go and uh, i can basically duplicate this session as well again you know this column okay i can duplicate this column and then basically go and replace the image and the test but what i'm gonna do i'm gonna try to insert another one you know so i'm gonna click on this uh, columns all right so i'm gonna click on this and then i'm gonna go here i'm gonna drag, drag it into the column all right so now next thing i want to do is to add a button right here so to do that i'm gonna delete this session to do that, I can simply go here and duplicate this button as well, like I did before. So I'm gonna just simply duplicate this button and I'm gonna you know, try to move it at the bottom of this page. Right, this is where it should be, all right? So the next thing on this page that I wanna add is to add a, a little bit background color on this session, okay? So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go back here and I'm gonna try to click on this try to click both of this session and then you wanna you wanna go on the background color and then you wanna go here this is the background color you wanna click the background color that you want so i'm gonna put something like uh, like this something similar like a little bit a little bit whiter okay so i'm gonna put something like this all right and then the next thing i want to do right here is to add another session on the bottom which is going to be test all right so i'm going to add um, a test element on the bottom so i'm going to click this one 
and then I want to add some text. I'm going to copy the text that is on this landing page and then I can go and paste it right here. Remember, you can always change in the font of the text colors if you, if you want to do that. So now, nice. if you have a look on this page, you can see there's few things that are left to be done, like, uh, you know, increasing the font of the text, or maybe, you know, or maybe putting some, you know, some spaces between the element, you know, so because you don't want them to squeeze together, all right? And to do that, if I want to change the font, if I want this, the font of this text to be a little bit bigger, I can click on it, and I can go here. And you can see you can make it bigger just slide this in a little bit and you can see it's increasing when you slide it right you can make it bigger you can make it smaller if you want all right so i'm gonna leave it like this and then if you want to put a space between the element like i just said before all you need to do for example i want to click on this one and i want to put space from the top so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna put this one as you can see so you can just slide this in you can see it's moved so if you want to do another one, for example, this one, I'm gonna do this. So you just click on it, click on the element, and then you wanna slide it. As you can see, there is a space right here and a demarcation between the, the, the top element and the bottom element, all right? And then, guys, when you're done, all you need to do is just click here to save the, the changes, and then click on this icon to exit. And here is the, uh, uh, landing page URL. You can basically, you know, change this code, you know, to something meaningful, something that will show on your browser. You know, you don't want this code to be showing um, on your browser. You might want to change it to something, you know, something that looks good. Okay. So, for example, I can put something like maybe subscribe now, subscribe now, and then when you're done, you just need to, you know, click here to save the phone. All right. Once it's saved you cannot click on this to copy your url so you can go there and i'm gonna paste it so guys this is your landing page this is the uh, the extension url that i just added and this is the page that we just built you know so i know if you spend a little bit of time you can design something amazing something that looks more professional than this all right this is just for me to show you as an example like i said we have done complete tutorial showing you how to use system.io to build your landing page you know sales phone and also set up your uh, email autoresponder as well make sure you watch that video to learn more about system.io all right so guys you can you know you know basically build anything you want to build using this system for free so guys that is it for today's video i hope you learned something new today and if you do so consider subscribing and also don't forget to leave a like on this video because it helped this video to reach more amazing people like you and before you go here is next video to watch go now watch that video and i will see you on the next one